Welcome back to Speak Up on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. My guest this morning is the executive director of Hope Works in Camden, Father Jeff Putoff. We're so happy to have you with us this morning. Thank you very much. Thanks. It's great to be here. Well, tell me about your vision for this program when you founded it. Well, you know, it started really small. Um, I was asked, uh, I had come to Camden to work in a parish there, and I was asked to work with youth who dropped out of school. We have a tremendous dropout problem in Camden. Uh, some of the schools average close to 70% dropout rate, high school mm -hmm. dropout rate. And so we were trying to find a way to connect with youth. And I had an idea about how to do that with technology. And so um, lo and behold, I talked to a couple other uh, pastors and we got together and we came up with this idea, which evolved into HopeWorks, mm -hmm. which is using technology, website design and development, GIS and video to, um, to connect with youth in a way that allows them to have a learning experience that's positive and hopefully really different than the learning experiences that they've had um, and then through that that they can get back into school. Yeah, so tell me how you go about teaching these kids these, uh, the technology aspect of things. Yeah. Well, one of the key components of our program is that we have an online curriculum that's self-paced. So youth who come into our program start and they're able to move through it um, at their own pace and at their own skill. Our motto is called learning to learn. So we want a youth to actually take up ownership of their own learning process and to continue it. So we don't teach anybody. What we do is we help facilitate their learning. And you know, one of the, the best things for me is when a youth comes to HopeWorks and has been there for a week or two weeks and we have a new youth who shows up and that youth who's been there for two weeks is now in a position where they can help the youth who's shown up. And it's oftentimes one of the first times they've ever experienced themselves as a leader mm -hmm. or as somebody who can facilitate someone else's learning. It's just a wonderful experience uh, because the learning is unfolding. And it's not an experience that they're used to, especially if they've dropped out of school, they've been left behind or that kind of stuff. Their, their experience oftentimes of, of their own education, their own learning uh, is rather poor. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's a way to enliven that. And tell me about the age group that you're normally working with. So we have two different groups. We have an in-school group that's 14 to 17 high school group. And then our out-of-school youth ranges from 17 to 23. Um, okay. So we have those. And you did touch on the fact that the dropout rate in Camden in particular, it, it's extraordinary, extraordinarily yeah. high, 70% or so yeah. from what I understand. And about 8,000 young people have dropped out of high school. 34% of the city's young people are unemployed. These are just yeah. some of the stats that yeah. you're dealing with. Yeah. So the need is dire for a yeah. program like this yeah. in Camden. It's, well, yeah, the need is overwhelming. And uh, no one program can uh, take care of or meet that entire need. Uh, we do try to work with youth who are at a really desperate situation. You know, we plant our stake with youth who many times uh, other groups have left behind. We hear, hear a lot about early childhood development or we need to make early interventions, which is excellent and right on. And yet we have this large population of youth who are teens who are dropping out. And so we really work with that group who is most in need and I would say most in danger uh, to help make a difference in their lives. Yeah, and when you finally get to deal with these young people, what has been missing? What is it about your program that seems to inspire them? Well, that's a great question. Um, I think belief, a belief in a future, a belief in a possibility, a belief that, uh, that there's a more to come. Uh, I think that as youth age out of their adolescence, as they begin to really approach adulthood, uh, first of all in Camden, I think many youth have experienced uh, adult uh, events in their life before they should have. So they might have experienced uh, violence or death or um, uh, a tough family situation or, or terrible poverty. And I think there comes a point in many of the youth's lives when they realize or they believe that there's nothing else that's ahead of them. And I think that what we try to do is create situations of connection and possibilities so that youth can actually begin to see an unfolding future instead of a future that's bleak or, 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 or difficult. Yeah, you give yeah. them hope. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I love our, our name Hope Works. Um, you know, so it's easy to say hope works, but I like to think about hope works more like a, a steam works or water works of like a factory that uh, is producing something. So it's clanging and it's hissing and, you know, youth have to show up every day to work at their hope. It is a real work of hope mm -hmm. that one engages in. It is not magic. It's not pixie dust. It just doesn't happen. 
it's an uh, effort and a discipline to attain, and uh, youth have to engage in that. It has to be a partnership. And uh, we do that, not only uh, the staff, but it's youth to youth who inspire mm -hmm. each other. Yeah. Well, sounds like a great environment. We're going to keep yeah. talking to you about the program more with Father Jeff when we come back. You're watching Speak Up here on the CW Philly. Welcome back to Speak Up on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. My guest this morning is the Executive Director of Hope Works in Camden, Father Jeff Putoff. Welcome back, and thank you very much for being here with us this morning. So we've got lots to talk about with this program, a wonderful program helping lots of young people in Camden. And the summer program is a particularly important one. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we, got a, we got a lot of exciting things planned in the summer. Um, and it all happens because of a program that we run called Fun in the Sun, mm -hmm. where we raise enough money, $30,000, to support 20 to 25 youth jobs each summer. Uh, it's a unique program in that we raise the money so that we can have the jobs for our youth. And then our, the youth themselves work in, our, in one of our businesses, mm -hmm. so we have businesses on site, and they oftentimes in the summer do a GIS mapping project, uh, so we do lots of mapping projects where we go out to the community and map assets or uh, we were hired by the water company last year to um, map uh, water assets, that kind of stuff. Um, we do videos. Uh, we do websites. So the youth actually part uh, participate and create real client work uh, during the summer. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's a very, very important uh, program, this Fun in the Sun, to help us do that. And you'll be placing 25 young people in those uh, positions? Up, up, up to, to 25. 25 youth will be able to have jobs through our program. That's correct. Yeah. All right. So we've talked about your in school and out of school program, also a residential program. That's right. A really exciting piece. Uh, we call it the crib for community responding and belief. What we found was that we're able to get youth into school, back into oftentimes uh, into college, the junior college there in Camden, Camden County College. Uh, but it's not an access problem or question as much as it's a success issue. So we need to ha create success or the parameters for, uh, to have greater success for our youth. And so we remodeled a building and up to 10 youth can live in the building while they hold a job with us and while they're in school. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is that they themselves as peers are strengthening each other and making it more possible to be successful. It's um, a new project. Uh, we just started this year. It's very exciting. Uh, it's tremendously challenging. Uh, and um, I think a symbol in our community in the sense of the street that it's on, there's a lot of drugs on, two, on both corners, there's big drug sets, and right in the middle is this group of youth who are coming together to say, we choose differently. Yeah. It's, it's just remarkable. And changing their lives. Yeah. And yeah. about 1,000 young people have come through your program, is that about right? About 1,500, actually. Wow. Yeah, 1,500. And every year it's about uh, 225 to 250, it just depends. And tell me about how you go about raising the crucial funds to, to keep your program afloat. Right, so we, we obviously have uh, donors, so people who support us, real important. Uh, we have foundations who support our work. So one of the um, local foundations, Campbell Soup, has been a tremendous supporter of us. Uh, in fact, they were the ones who gave us our first grant who believed in us 12 years ago and have made all this possible in some ways. Very, very exciting. And then we have our business, and I think this really sets our program apart. We're uh, a social entrepreneur organization, so we have products. And the challenge for us is that we create real products of real value for companies, for clients, that, um, that they need. And we do that, my staff does that, with an employee force, if you will, who initially many people would not hire. And so we hire them and use the work from the clients to actually make them really good employees and help improve their you know, work readiness skills and use that work uh, to help them create hope in their own lives. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win for everybody. The clients love it, they get great work, they get great service, and the youth get jobs, they get a community, they get an education, so their future's brighter. Yeah, well, what are you most proud of about this program? Oh, wow, that's great. Um, I, think, I think that I'm really proud of the way in which people come into a difficult situation and say that it can be different, mm -hmm. you know? And I think particularly about the extraordinary youth who are making choices to be different in an in a area, in a city, where it's easy to make choices that um, are not for life. Mm -hmm. and, and our youth, I think, who come on a regular basis, day in, day out, are um, are choose are making choices that 
the majority of people around them are not. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's extraordinary. And they, should, they are real heroes for doing that. And would you consider yourself a hero? No, oh, I don't know. Not at all. Um, that's, I mean, no, not even close to it. No. Yeah, but you uh, should no, definitely I mean, be applauded for what, uh, you're, what you're trying well, to do for well, the young people I think, of I, think I, I, I mean, I, I mean, excuse me, but I mean, I, I think I get the, the opportunity uh, to really um, experience a passion and get to work on my, you know, I get to actually exercise my own passion in doing this work and making a difference. But so many other people make that possible. If anything, I'm aware of how limited any one person is mm -hmm. and how important it is that we have to come together and connect and create, uh, in order to create something better, we rely on each other to do that. Yeah. So in some ways you realize just how little you are. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And where do you see the program going, Father? Oh, wow. So with the crib, uh, we feel like we have a complete package of the program. So we'd like to take that to another location and, and, and perhaps expand to a different place, to, to a different city, to a different locale. Uh, we'd also like to create um, an youth institute, a, a way in which we actually are able to codify our lessons and, and learn about what we've done over the last 10 years. All right. Well, yeah. if folks wanted to learn more about this, so you've got a website? We do, absolutely. They should okay. go to www.hopeworks.org. Uh, we have some great videos. We talk about our services. You can meet the youth. Everything's there. Wow. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Father Jeff. Sure. It's been a pleasure. Sure. We do appreciate that. You're watching Speak Up on the CW Philly. We're back in just a bit.